we are making the classic French onion soup. And uh, we are going to start with using some ribeye beef bones. Um, and right now I'm already sous vide the uh, ribeye. And what I did was uh, take another bunch of this and uh, brown them up in a uh, air fryer oven. Tossed them into an instant pot and uh, ran it for like 80 minutes to get all the uh, juice and everything off the bones. And that made our stock. All right, and here's the stock that I made yesterday. And it has uh, mushrooms in it that I uh, put in. And I've actually thickened it a little bit with a tiny bit of cornstarch. But most of that is thickening that came from the bones. So we'll use that as the stock. That's chilled down so it's thicker than it will be when it's uh, heated. Okay, to go in there for onions, we're going to use a red onion. Gives great flavor and a little bit of color. We're going to roast a bunch of garlic, sliced thin. we got some green onions to go at the end and a sweet onion. All right, that'll be about enough. Um, also in there, you're going to have a little bit of sugar. I'm actually going to use a monk fruit sweetener for uh, keto. A little bit of black pepper, salt, and I'm going to touch it off with a touch of white truffle oil at the end. And I'll top it with Swiss cheese and mozzarella grated into this. All right, that stock I made was done with about 400 degrees in an air fryer. And that's just a nice way to not heat up that much, not use a whole oven, and get the browning on the bones that you need. All right, onions do uh, least crying if you got a sharp knife. The less you crush, uh, the less crying. You can cut these a lot of different ways, cross cut. But for French onion soup, I actually like to go long ways on them like this. So we'll just cut these up fairly thin. Okay, and I like a fairly sizable length of onion so people can find it on their spoon. All right, now we'll do this. I'm gonna do these ones a little bit thinner, smaller, I mean. All right, we are just gonna take and uh, saute these real lightly, low heat. We'll put uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. All right, salted butter. And I don't like to uh, saute in just straight butter because the uh, smoke point's too low and you'll burn the butter. The olive oil lets it get a lot higher temperature, brown the onions, and not risk burning the uh, butter solids. All right, and you can see it's starting to heat up and bubble the uh, water and the butter, so we'll put our onions in. All right, and I'm going to cover that so that the steam helps cook the onions, soften it down, and we'll turn the heat down to uh, medium flame and check it. Big thing is we don't want to brown over brown these. We want to caramelize them and get uh, good flavor and sweetness developed in the onions. Meanwhile, garlic. I used to peel all these thinking I would get more garlic if I didn't have the skin on. Now I've changed my mind on it. I plop it in there with the skin on it and that allows me to squeeze it out, cut off the bottom and just reach in there and pull the entire skin out. It leaves all the holes clear and you don't get all that garlic up around in here. So it's a more efficient way to do it actually. Just cut the bottoms off, stick it bottom down so it's ready to come out. Squeeze it off, slice. When you crush it, they react together and make that chemical. If you slice it, it breaks through less cells and you get less of that chemical. And you can test it out for yourself. Sliced garlic, finely roasted, is going to be a lot less garlicky flavored, a lot more mellow than this. So if you're going for the roast garlic flavor, slice it. In this case, I'm going to cook it real slow and I'm fine with the extra garlic flavor to boost this onion soup. All right, I'm making most everything keto now. However, I am going to use an extra... You know, three quarters of a teaspoon of actual sugar in here. 
because that is going to give a nice Maillard reaction, nice browning and good uh, flavor for that that you don't get from artificial sweeteners. All right, we stir that around a little bit and let it brown. Not too much hotter than that. I'll uh, add the garlic at the end, and that's about four or five big cloves of garlic worth. Um, I don't want to overcook the garlic, so I'll just put it in at the end. All right, I'm actually also going to add some green onions, but I'm only going to add the whoops. I'm only going to add the white part to it um, to cook down, and I'll use most of the green part to um, provide a little garnish at the end. Okay, starting to brown up a little bit. Okay, there it is after about five minutes. You can see it's starting to get brown, caramelized, everything softened up. Should be good flavor. We'll clear out a little spot and add the garlic. All right, garlic's in. I'm gonna turn the heat down for the garlic. Definitely don't want that to burn. A little bit more so it doesn't click. Okay, just spread that garlic all around. Get a little bit of uh, oil down in there. Okay. And we'll just do this for about a minute, making sure that it's moving, doesn't burn. I'm going to turn the heat down all the way off, actually. I'll just use the residual heat in the pan there. Got to be super careful with garlic if you don't want that bitter garlic flavor. Okay, that's probably as much as I'm going to want those things toasted. Now I'll add in the water to cut the cooking on that. Okay, I put in about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I don't want to over pepper it. And when you cook pepper in water for a long time, you can get quite spicy. I can always add pepper later, but I don't want to overpower the delicate onion flavor. So just a little bit of black pepper, quarter teaspoon is all I use. And I also added one teaspoon of salt. Again, we can always add salt at the end. All right, going to make some croutons. It's just a little bit of uh, leftover homemade sourdough bread. So we'll just slice that up. And we'll uh, toss it with some olive oil and a little bit of garlic. And that's going to be used for uh, French onion soup. All right, we'll just put on a... Uh, Tablespoon and a half, and two tablespoons of olive oil, light sprinkling of garlic salt. Toss that in the uh, air fryer. All right, we'll put that in the uh, toaster oven or air fryer there. Okay, it's looking good. I'm going to make a slurry of one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch with some water and stir it in there. Uh, turn the heat on again, thicken it up. All right, here's about the thickness that I got it at. You can see it's got the onions in it. We're going to add a little bit of white truffle oil. Do that off heat at the end, and I'll add about a teaspoon. Okay, it's pretty strong flavor, a little bit more. Pretty strong, um, but the light odor molecules will all disappear under heat they're very volatile so you just add that on the end stir it up and then the last part we will uh, garnish with this and the cheese and the croutons all right here we go we're just gonna put that in so that has got the onions and mushrooms we'll put our croutons on the top and we'll put a little bit of uh, swiss cheese on the top of that all right, French onion, roasted garlic, and mushroom soup. Bon appetit.